Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm creating another look using the Bronze Seduction Palette from Pat McGrath. I talked to you guys in the review that I wanted to do like a red smoky eye using this shade right here and this is what I came up with. I'm obsessed with it, no lashes, so easy to do, like it does not take, I think it took me 15 minutes total and that's like with putting on mascara. You could add lashes to this to make it a little bit more va va boom but I really like like the way that this turned out so if you want to see how I created it just keep watching I'm starting off with blitz flame from the palette on a Mac 242 I have not set the lower portion of my eye I only set right underneath my brow arch the reason I did that is because I wanted it to be just a little bit more intense so I wanted it to really adhere to the primer, which I just used Tarte Shape Tape. But I didn't want to use it wet because I didn't want it to be too foiled. So this is a good method to make it really nice and pigmented, which it is on its own, like if I were to put it over top of a set eye. But just a little bit more pigmented, but also not so metallic that it can make your eyes look crepey. So I'm just starting off with basically setting the lower portion on my lid with the red shade. And as you can see, I am tapping this into place to help minimize any fallout. 781 Crease Brush from Delium. I'm slowly gonna work this right underneath the lower lash line. I'm taking a MAC 217 with just a little bit of product on my brush at a time and the shade Entrapment, like you can see it's very, very little. I'm going to be going around the edges and then slowly blending this upward. You could use a MAC 221. The reason why I didn't use the Zoeva 227 is because I feel like it's just a little bit too fluffy for this. Um, you could also use the Wayne Goss number 18. Mine is dirty. And as you can see, I'm just slowly taking that right around the edge of the red. And as I'm getting less pigment on the brush, I'm working it up kind of like a transition shade. So it's just getting blown out. For my eye shape, this is my crease, but I wanna bring this part out just a little bit more, just so it keeps my eye a little bit more open because if I stay just right here, then it's going to make my eye look smaller. So I tuck it here and then I kind of blow it out on the outer edge just to make sure I make my eye look as big as possible. I'm just gonna take the excess from the brush and run it along the lower lash line because I don't wanna to have too much going on underneath here other than the red. Taking a clean blending brush, this is the number 13 from Tom Ford, but you don't have to use that one, just any clean blending brush and going right around the edges. With a MAC 221, I'm taking Blitz Flame and I'm just blending this a little bit more into the crease so that the red and that lash brownish shade we did merges together. Delium 763 and Disobedient. I'm stamping this at the lash line, but I'm kind of going to blend it out as well because I don't want it to be harsh. I don't want it to look like liner, I just want it to look kind of diffused but darker. This also helps your lashes look thicker at the base. MAC 228 and a little bit of rose gold right on the inner corner. And then I'm going to put my base, uh, Blanc Type, at my brow arch because I don't want it to have a bright brow highlight, but you could use the first shade in the palette if you wanted to. And I'm kind of going to diffuse this out as well because I don't want it to be too much, but then I'm just going to go add on some mascara. 
All right, you guys, to finish off the look, all I did was add on some mascara and then NARS Via Veneto only on the top inner rim. And like I said, I added a little bit of blanc type at my brow arch just because I didn't really want that to be a high shine. I wanted to keep all the drama just down below. And I wish I had thought about this, but instead of using the dark brown as a kind of liner, this deep purple would have been beautiful. So if you want to change it up a little bit, I would suggest going in with that shade. But if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.